Hi, I'm Dan Freed. I'm creator of Biochemistry Literacy for Kids. In this video, we're going to be going over the custom Molly Mod model kit, which I hope that you will order uh, to accompany your experience with the digital curriculum that I've created. What is in the Molly Mod custom kit? Looks very similar to some of the other kits that Molly Mod produces, um, but it has a few special pieces. I'm going to go over some of the important pieces in this video so that you're aware of what you're getting. The uh, most important feature of the kit is that it has the ability to model hydrogen bonding. And for that to work, we need these two hold hydrogen pieces, which I also call protons, and we also have these lone pair electron pieces. And this allows us to connect hydrogens through lone pair electrons. That's the phenomena of hydrogen bonding. Let me try to show you how that's uh, going to play out in these kits. Here's a normal water molecule, uh, and this is the one that you would build if you had a standard kit. And here's the water molecule that you would build with the custom kit, because you have the four-hold oxygens and also the lone pair electrons and the two-hold uh, hydrogens. What this allows us to do is it allows us to model hydrogen bonding, which is very important for organic chemistry and biochemistry. So here's another molecule. This is called isopropanol. This is what we use in our hand sanitizers now. Isopropanol is miscible, or it can dissolve in water. And the reason that is is because both molecules can hydrogen bond with each other. So because water and the alcohol have similar structures, we get this kind of interaction. The reason it exists is because the proton is a little bit positive charge because it's polarized, and the electrons are a little bit negative. So positive negative attract, and you get this hydrogen bond. We don't really have the ability to do that um, in any other way other than through this special kit. And many of the lessons use this. We have special lessons on hydrogen bonding. It kind of permeates all of biochemistry. Let me show you one other really cool application of hydrogen bonding, which a lot of people even know about. They don't realize they know about it. But this is a DNA base pair. Everyone's heard of DNA base pairing. What's causing the base pairing? Why do the A's and T's and the G's and C's, why do they base pair with each other. It has to do with hydrogen bonding. So here I have these hydrogen bonds formed already. I'm going to unform them. I'm going to melt them, actually. Now we have two. Now we have the adenine. And this is actually a uracil, which is the base pair, we, the base we get in, um, in RNA. So the students have, by the way, they have enough pieces to build this model. That's the other thing with the kit, is that they have enough pieces to build so many of the molecules that are in the curriculum. But we can uh, model hydrogen bonding. We can model base pairing through this sorts of interaction right here. And by the time the students get to this exercise, they completely understand what's going on. So I don't expect most people watching this to get everything other than the fact that we're seeing hydrogen bonding. But they really do understand what's going on and adds so much to the curriculum to have that ability um, to do that. The other important piece that's in the model kit are these special nitrogens that have only three holes. So most of the kits from Molly Mod are for organic chemistry, and they'll have four holes. So they'll look kind of like this. We need the three-hold uh, nitrogen to model a concept called aromaticity. And the base pairs of DNA are actually aromatic. You could imagine that if you use the nitrogen that had four holes, you wouldn't get a molecule that's very flat. You need the three-hold hydrogen to make it more flat. So this is, allows us to give a more accurate picture of the very flat, um, pla planar nature of DNA. That is also found in many other molecules. For example, the heme of hemoglobin. Uh, the kit doesn't have enough pieces to build this, but if you have a school subscription, you would have more kits around, and the, the teachers could build something larger, like this porphyrin um, molecule, which is from the heme of hemoglobin. Let me just show you one other cool application of hydrogen bonding. In the center of this heme, we have this very important iron. That's the iron in our blood. If the students learn in the ionic chapters that iron tends to be a little bit positive charged. Those lone pair electrons are negative charged. So when we breathe in oxygen, what do you think happens with the oxygen and the iron? Sticks together. We're actually seeing the biochemical basis for breathing. Why, where does the oxygen go when we breathe it in? It goes right onto that iron in our hemoglobin. So it's really cool to see these applications um, in the model kit. We can kind of have the students easily model them and the way that it kind of sinks in is just so much more uh, beautiful when we have the ability to, to look at hydrogen bonding. So anyway, that is the custom Molly Mod kit. 
that is produced in collaboration with MollyMod. You can't get it anywhere else. You have to get it through the website. There are other options for you if you are outside of the United States or maybe too far from England, which is where these are produced. You can order other model kits and you'll do just fine. But if you can get your hands on this kit, uh, I recommend it. The program is designed for this kit in mind. So um, it's really just worth it to have it. Thanks.